Hey Geelong, welcome. I hope you're doing alright in ISO. Personally, I've really missed being able to catch up with everyone at our Sunday gatherings. Hey Geelong is a space where we're able to catch up over life, teaching, mercy and mission and also just see some familiar faces we probably haven't seen in a while. So keep your eyes peeled to the screen to see what's coming up next. Wherever you are, whoever you may be, boil the kettle and fill a cup of tea. From the comfort of your home comes the church community. It's Tea Time with Meg, Tea Time with Meg, Tea Time with Meg, digitally. Hi everyone, welcome to Tea Time with Meg. Uh, welcome to our regular program. For those of you who had bets going at home to see how long it would take before Frank appeared on Tea Time with Meg, the answer is... Episode three, he uh, jumped up on the couch and has refused to get off. He's cold, I think. That's fine, but here he is. Uh, if you have not seen episode two, stop and do so now because otherwise I'm about to spoil it for you. There was a riddle in episode two, and the answer to that riddle, go see it if you haven't already, is ask the man which direction is his house. A man from the town of truths will point to the town of truths, but someone who comes from the town of liars will also point to the town of truths. So either way, you can trust which way he's pointing is going to take you to the town of truths. Which way do you live, sir? That's the answer to the riddle. If you haven't already, grab a cup of tea and let's meet this week's guests. This week, we're saying hi to Tim and May Blackhall. Hi, Tim and May. How are you? Hey, you going? Great. Now, uh, it actually, Tim, it took me a little bit of uh, time, I have to confess, to discover that your name was Tim because everyone around me speaks to you about you as Chappie. Why is that? Because um, I'm a school chaplain at a local Christian school. So Chappie is short for chaplain. So that yeah, so I, I, got that, I got that name about 11 years ago when a teacher forgot my name and said, um, uh, Chappie here is going to give me a hand with the games tonight. But um, I, I think it's, I think it's a friendly name. Yep. It's better than Mr. Blackwell. And um, then I was given the opportunity when I went to Christian College, what are they, what are they going to call me? And I said, is it all right if they call me Chappie, better than Mr. Blackwell? And they went, yeah. No, that, that'd be perfect. That'd be fine. So, yeah, I don't want to be rebranded as Mr. Blackwell either, so I'm really happy with Chappie. Yeah. Like, in holidays when people call me Tim, I go, oh, that's odd. <laughs> so, yes, I like that. Like the name Chappie in the school environment, yeah. Great. Which of our digital congregations have you guys been attending? Is there a regular on a Sunday that you watch? Yeah. Oh, yes, 9 o'clock. Yeah, we're normally keen yeah. for 9. Yeah. So and, we've and because you're at 9 o'clock in physical church? Correct, yes. Yeah. yeah. Great. How's it been going? Yeah. What's, what, how's your experience of digital church? I prefer live church. Yeah. But um, I've loved because we've got up as a family, and um, we, and both the daughters have got up. Um, the oldest daughter is pretty heavily involved in church, but the youngest daughter probably used the excuse for a sleep in. But because it's only <laughs> two minutes away from her bedroom, um, we haven't got that excuse. But but she's really enjoyed, and we've all enjoyed sitting in the comfort of our lounge room and doing church together. Yeah. How's isolation been going? Are you working? Um, for me, I've um, worked through the whole time. Um, my third daughter, Tanea, she was in Cambodia in um, March, um, late Feb, early March, and came back and within a week she had a cold. Um, so she was then tested. So that was in the very early days. Um, tested for coronavirus and that meant that I was unable to go to work um, until we got the result. Same and that, with me. Yeah, and that was probably when it sort of really hit me thinking, oh my goodness, <laughs> um, this is serious. Yeah. So, yeah. But we didn't have any online learning at that stage. So for me, it was a couple of days of holiday, but it's just when online learning hit our school and I had to stay home, that's when because I'm a very social person, mm -hmm. that's when it, it um, I didn't like that so much because I didn't have that face-to-face -face contact with the students. So you can't, or and the staff, and you can't really read what's really going on online. And I love that 
having those shoulder to shoulder conversations with kids that may be struggling and the staff that are struggling. Um, so I've really missed that social contact, that, as I said, that shoulder to shoulder, that, that time where you can just look into someone's eye and go, what are they really feeling? What's really going on in that life, in, in their lives at the moment? So, yeah, so that's what I haven't liked about isolation. Yeah. Are you back at school now? Yes, we've been back for a couple of weeks now and they've staggered the other chaplain and I on so they didn't have too many adults on campus. But I, I just love being yeah. back on campus with the kids and going down and, and elbowing because we can't do high five. So yeah. doing the social distancing, but just being there part of their lives again and being part of the staff's lives again, yeah. How are yeah. kids going? They're going pretty well. There's some adjusting in that. I mean, it's, uh, they're pretty nervous. Um, coming back to school, so some, and today the year seven, eight, nines have come back on campus because I'm at a middle school, which is from year five to nines. So yes, there's a, a few anxious students. What's it going to be like? What's it? What does it mean to come back to my friendship groups and things like that? But overall, it's good. It's just a school's not a school without students. So they have the students back, have the staff back, because we are really all of us. The staff and the students are a big family there. Yeah. So to have them back, it's it's great. Yeah. So uh, May, is there? How can we pray for you as a family? Um. Yeah. In thinking about that, um, I have a daughter in year twelve who is finding it quite difficult to. Um, yeah, I suppose to see what it would look like at the end of the year with her doing exams and. Um, yeah. What what I guess next year will look like as well. So, um, you know, I think pray for you 12 students who are trying to navigate this, mm. this journey through the coronavirus mm. is, um, I think it could be quite stressful for some. Mm. Um, yeah, and looking to see what that will look like for them for next year, going either to uni or to work or having a gap year or um, yeah, thinking about those kind of things. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just having that peace through that, isn't it? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Everyone's in the same boat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we've got an older daughter that's um, up in New South Wales and obviously having those um, borders locked down, we haven't been able to catch up with her. So mm. we're looking forward to that opening up. And so we've got some plans already to go up for her birthday. And right. um, Yeah, but in saying all that, it's been, thank goodness, for social media and, and be able to have these um, contacts through Zoom and FaceTime and all those sorts of things. Yeah. Yeah, we're just really looking forward to um, being able to catch up face to face with all our loved ones. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for being on the program. And likewise, I'm very much looking forward to seeing you again in person. Yeah. So we'll do this. Yeah. Yes. Until then, cheers. <laughs> yeah.